eliminating the top of the ninth inning for, sure. the, for the moment. A lot of good things did happen tonight. Really good things. Uh, Frankie Benizia coming back, hadn't thrown in a while, was really good, really efficient, throwing strikes. Uh, that was a huge positive and a lift for us. I thought most of our pitchers did a really nice job commanding the zone. Um, offensively, it was nice to see Connor Kelly had a huge night for us. Uh, he'd been fighting it, finally got the head out on a bunch and had some really big hits. That one hit that made it 8-2 to two ends up being huge for us. Uh, Spencer Robin hasn't had a lot of opportunity. Got his first hit, you know, college hit tonight. Uh, Fritz Genther continued. He didn't have any loud hits. Uh, he had the big double that right. cleared the bases, but his other couple bleeders. But Humphrey, you know, we've been waiting for that for a while, and that was kind of nice to watch. So, uh, Is but, there a role that you think Frankie can acquire yeah. going down the, down He's the stretch? A mid-relief guy okay. can come in and throw strikes. Okay. In. His breaking ball is very good. So he's a one time through the order, one time through the batting order guy for us, but he gives us another option out of the pen, a strike right. thrower. So he's having him healthy is a big lift because he's a, he's a team favorite too. Like he, that's a big lift for our group. Having and him he's, back. he's fought it. Oh, yeah. He's fought the injuries oh, yeah. and he's stuck around and he's tried to do whatever he can yeah. to get back out there and contribute to his team, which is really what he yeah. is. He's, yeah. a, he's a great team guy. Yeah. Loves being around the guys. He's funny. He's got a great way about him. But for him, him having success will give a lift to a lot of guys. Okay, the ninth inning. It yeah. unraveled. Yeah, I mean, it just lead off error, hit by pitch, couple walks, you know. Big strikeout to the Titchy kid who been hot. Uh, that was a big one there in the middle. Uh, but just, you know, freshman, you know, at the back end of games. You know, uh, signs with the wild pitch, couldn't see the signs. Like, there was a few issues in there, but we got the last out of that inning and gave ourselves an opportunity where it really, you know, they had runners in scoring position with the Hill kid up who's been swinging the bat pretty good of late and gets out of the inning and we give ourselves an opportunity to win. That's why it's, that's why I want that home, first home game in the tournament because you want to hit last. Right, year, right. So. And, but it ends up yeah. rather well. We it take did. a it first pitch I mean, fastball, and there it goes. Yeah, it was. I mean, it was, he got it. He got into it, knew it was gone right off the bat. So, yeah, it's nice. And then clinched the Kennedy Cup uh, for the university, right. which is nice. So, um, anytime you can beat the flagship, sure. it's nice. Yeah, it's sure. nice. It is nice. So, All right. Now, what do you want to do with the weekend? I mean, we're going to manage it. We're going to manage our pitchers. We're going to, you know, obviously we want guys fresh for Binghamton, but... We're gonna. I mean, we want to win. We want to keep the winning feeling. Sure. Uh, we're not gonna. You know, we're gonna put lineups out there. We're gonna get guys some at bats. You know sure. that we think are gonna help us in the tournament. And but we're gonna go the same rotation. It's gonna be Draper, Becker, and then Sunday will be Keevan. Yeah. So um, and that'll be good. To hopefully, can stretch them out to five. You know, uh, playing a really good Hofstra team. They went to a regional last year. Their kid starting Friday through a no hitter last week. Right. So. Frank Catalanato, ex-big leaguer, they're going to be well coached and, uh, you know, they're playing a really good league and they're kind of in the middle of the pack of the league. So it's going to be a good challenge for our team. And obviously them going to UConn before they even come here, right. they, they've really got an opportunity sure. to set themselves up for a, yeah. what could turn out to be a very nice week. Yeah, no doubt. So it's, uh, yeah, it'll be a nice opponent. It'll yeah. be a good opponent to play somebody out of conference. You know, we can kind of, I mean, you know, do you really want to do that at this time of year? I mean, we somebody, can't, I, we can't I not play. I know. We I know have that. to play right. because as hitters, live at bats and game at bats are so important. You know, giving guys days off, but also making sure that they're getting their at bats. It is, it is important. And you know what? We'll get some other guys that haven't had a lot of innings into more meaningful spots on a weekend, which some guys haven't had that opportunity. How difficult was it to convince Hofstra to do this at the end of the year? Everybody's looking for bye weeks. So right. everybody, ha we have two bye weekends. Right. Our first one was Delaware. Yeah. This one was Hofstra. There's no, there's no convincing. We want to play our 56 games. Okay. Kids go to Division One baseball to play 56 baseball okay. games. And, you know, the problem is our schedules are released so late, it's hard to find people. Like right. next year, our two bye weeks are we're going to Army. Okay. And Maris is coming to us. Okay. So we're staying in the region, so it's not like it's a huge. I'm, I'm not flying across country. No, no, no. For no, a bye no, weekend. No, so we're no, trying to stay no, no. local. You know, going to Army is going to be a really good thing for us next year. So well, that's a good program, too, yeah, by the way. Very good. Very good. So, but yeah, uh, convincing. No, everybody wants to play their full schedule. So it's, it's finding. Regional teams like yeah. that you where you can take a yeah. bus. Would there be a a set location where you just wouldn't go to? Like you said, flying out west, but a bus. Would, 
a bus, a, a bus, bus trip. Okay. Yeah, I'd go to Maryland, yeah. DC, somewhere like that. But okay. I'm not taking a 15 hour bus right. trip at this time of the year. We did yeah. enough of those in February and March. Yeah. So. All right. All right. All right. Let's see what Hop Street looks right. like. As that ninth inning was unraveling out in that field, what was the sense of how, how it was going to uh, play, eventually play out? Um, well, I just knew that if our pitchers got us out out of that inning, then we had a chance to win, and we were going to do it with our bats. Fritz is hot. Bobby's always hot. So. <clears throat> As the boys throw the laundry at you, um, it's the first walk-off win of the year and probably the first walk-off home run of the year. How much of a lift is it giving this team? Uh, hopefully a pretty big lift. Carry it into uh, our weekend series versus Hofstra and then into the, to the final games versus Binghamton. I mean, it's been a struggle for this team. There's, yeah. there's no denying the fact yep. that it's been a struggle for this team. And a night like this can be something that can catapult you guys to what you really want to do, which is get to the tournament and do something. Yeah. Uh, we have a great team, special team. So as long as we're in the tournament, we have a, we got a shot to do something great this year. Whoa. Wow. These guys really do want to uh, throw things at you. <laughs> How good of a, a, back, a second year has it been for you? <laughs> wow, you're um, awesome. It's been really fun. Uh, we have a great group of guys, and I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. This place is awesome. Good. Well done.